Before I became a police officer, I went to uh, college at the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire. I got my four year criminal justice degree from Eau Claire uh, in 1998. I have a uh, four year degree in criminal justice, but I have a my uh, minor in biology and an emphasis in forensic science as well. Five years in the Army Infantry, two tours to Iraq for a total of uh, a little over two years I was in Iraq and deployed. I went to college thinking I wanted to go to med school. I actually got a medical microbiology degree. My original plan was to go into education. I wanted to teach kindergartners. I eventually went back to school um, as an education minor and a German major. My plan was to teach high school German. First year in college, I switched over to a degree in religions and antiquity and was thinking about being a pastor. To a large degree, our effectiveness and our ability to serve the community is increased because we're a department made up of, of individuals from different backgrounds that are able to gel together as a team. You know, we look for people that are going to fit in with our core values. So accountability, integrity, professionalism, and respect. We really need people that, at their core, believe in those things. You know, you can teach me how to pull a car over, how to talk to people a little bit, but you can't teach somebody to be honest or to treat people decent. You know, and without that, Wasapedia wouldn't be who we are. It just wouldn't be the same. One of the biggest factors that we have uh, here at the Wasa Police Department is we have a really good team atmosphere. Uh, so working with other people that you can talk to that really kind of understand what it is that you're going through is really, really important. We count on each other to be our backup. Uh, we risk our lives for each other every day. We really are a family at the department and it's important to have the right person to do that. I refer to my coworkers, they're my second family. Um, and when I, when I mean family, I love them just like I would love my mom and dad, my brother and sister. I think we get it on a daily basis where people ask if we're related. And most of the time we're just like, no, no we're distant cousins. And we just ended up in the same place. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the luckiest person on earth. I mean, I can work with my twin brother every day. So there's no other job like it. You're not sitting in an office Monday through Friday. Um, there's so many facets of law enforcement that you can kind of go to. I mean, especially at WASA, there's so many things that you can go to besides just patrol. Once you find what you're looking for, you can branch out, stay within the department, and not get that burnout. You can stay motivated. And if you find something isn't for you, you can change back and try something else. It's a great place to work. It's not for everybody. It's, it's a little big town. It's plenty to keep you busy, and for some people, it's too much. We're not a police department where officers, uh, you know, if they, if they just want to you know, sit back in a squad car and relax, you know, this isn't the place for them. You know, we're involved. And, um, and so, you know, we're responding to, you know, 42,000 service calls a, a year. And so officers need to be committed to this profession and have a passion for their job um, in order to make a difference in our community. We really need people that are gonna be compassionate and kind. Um, we don't talk about those things a lot in law enforcement, but I think those things go a long way to building bridges with our community. You know, as a police officer, you're in a position of having influence over young people and, and you can really affect young people in a positive sense. So it's important to be able to do things like this where you can hang out with the young people and, and show them that you, you care because that'll pay dividends in their future. So just because I take the uniform off and become Sarah doesn't mean my personality changes. I'm still a member of the Wassa Police Department. I'm still a member of this community, and I need to uphold that. Um, I still need to maintain that even when I'm out in the community with my family or my friends. I still need to be that upstanding citizen. It's easy for us to kind of get robotic, go through the motions of, okay, what's your name? Where do you live? Okay, what's the problem? Um, but then it's another thing to have an officer who can understand that they're not calling us on their best days, they're calling us probably on their worst days. And I think sometimes that that's the most rewarding part, is just really listening to what somebody has to say and conveying that to them so they know that you're listening to what they have to say. So you can really get down to the root of a problem and, and, and craft a solution. It's certainly not about the money and it's certainly not about all the sleep I get. Um, it's about making people happy. As cliche as it sounds, we come into this and we say it's because we want to help people. Deep down, it's because we want to help people. There's not a lot of jobs where you can come to work for 2,080 hours a year 
and have a lot of opportunities to really positively impact people's lives. If you really have a passion for the profession of law enforcement, and if you are a high achiever and want to make a difference uh, and be involved on a great team and be involved in a community, this is the place. This is the place for you.